Hey, Miss Monahan here, and we are going to talk today about one of the most famous poems in the American language, American history. Um, Robert Frost, The Road Not Taken, and I think this is highly, um, highly misread. So let's go through this. Find it, Robert Frost, The Road Not Taken. Go click on it. Pull it up. I'll wait. Okay, let's begin again. So, Robert Frost, The Road Not Taken. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood, and sorry I could not travel both and be one traveler. Long I stood and looked down one as far as I could to where it bent in the undergrowth. Then took the other, as just as fair, and perhaps having perhaps the better claim, because it was grassy and wanted wear. Though as for that, the passing there had re worn them really about the same, and both that morning equally lay. In eaves, leaves no step had trod in black. Oh, I kept the first for another day. Yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back. I shall be telling this with a sigh, somewhere ages and ages hence. Two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. Okay, so the road not taken, it's lit. It's literally entitled after the one that we didn't take. So kind of an interesting premise, the road not taken. We'll get back to that in a second. Um, but let's get started here with the, with the first stanza. To orient ourselves, we always want to figure out just literally what's happening. So it's about roads, the title road not taken. And then when we look at the first stanza, two roads diverged in yellow wood, and sorry I could not travel both and be one traveler. Long I stood look down one as far as I could to where it bent in the undergrowth. That first part is setting us up for just the literal premise. He's at, in the woods, there's the, and he's staring down, um, literally like making a choice. Do I go down one path or do I go down another? Anytime you see a journey, roads forking, road in life, that's going to be um, about the journey in life. How do we choose to live it? How do we go along on this journey of um, from born? from when we pop out of this planet until we die. And so you have lots of forks in your road. Where do you go to college? How do you choose that? Which parent do you live with? Um, what career path do you want? There, there are a lot of choices that we make in life, and you're probably making some big ones coming up soon. So they've, you stare at both roads. Do I go to UCLA? Do I go to UCSD? Do I decide to go to college? Do I, whatever, do I bother do I start partying? Do I hang out with those friends? Or do I hang out with the nerd friends? So you spend some time figuring out. You look at these two paths. So you look down one, but then took the other. And listen to this. As just as fair, and having perhaps the better claim. Is it for sure? Why throw in that perhaps? Perhaps the better claim. Because it was grassy and wanted wear. Though as far as that passing there had really worn them about the same. So maybe it was better because it was untrodden. Though, as for the passing there, had worn them really about the same. So we're starting to see a lot of lines that are dedicated to just as fair, perhaps a better claim, had really worn them really about the same. And both that morning equally lay. Look, another one of those equally. Perhaps was better. Uh, are we seeing a clear answer here? I'm not. In leaves no step had trodden black. Oh, I kept the first for another day! Exclamation point. Yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back. You make that decision, and yeah, sometimes you're going to go back, change it around. But usually you're not. Usually you just kind of keep going forward. And, and I shall be telling this with a sigh, somewhere ages and ages hence. So later on in life, I'm going to be sighing and looking back on my life. And I'm going to go, oh, two roads diverged in a wood, and I, look at that double I, I took the road less traveled by. Emphasize, emphasis on the self. Um, and that has made all the difference. What difference? Was it good difference? Was it bad difference? And here's one of the lessons that I really like to um, spend time with. A lot of people say that's the moral of the story, that you take the road less traveled. Um, but is that the moral of the story? He keeps emphasizing over and over how equally they lay. He says, I look down, I'm trying going back and forth. Just as fair, perhaps a better claim, um, had worn them equally about the same, or really worn them about the same, that morning equally lay. Um, he says, it's made all the difference. It did make a difference. The choice you choices you make in life will lead you down different paths. They'll give you different lives. 
But is one necessarily better than the other? I don't think we ever get the answer here. He doesn't say. He says that later on, you're going to proclaim, oh, that's made all the difference. But um, this is one of the way, things you want to pay attention to with poetry. Look at all the clues throughout. What's being supported? There are a lot of lines suggesting that they're equal. And I like this poem because sometimes there are bad decisions. Should I do heroin or should I study? Study. You always study. Don't do heroin. Never do it. Don't do drugs. Waste of time. Um, mess up your life. But do I go to UCLA or do I go to UCSD? Probably both of them are going to be great. Um, do I decide to study engineering or do I study law? If you like them both, you're good at both, probably not going to matter that much. I mean, it's going to make a difference. But in the end, whatever you choose, that's going to make the difference. And you might be sighing and saying, I made all the difference. Anyway, um, this is Miss Monahan, and I hope you enjoyed Robert Frost's poem, The Road Not Taken, as much as I did, and that um, you spend a lot of time looking at how much evidence supports your cause. That's the lesson of this one. There isn't a lot of evidence to support that it really makes that much of a difference, so um, pay attention to the evidence. Robert Frost, a beautiful poet, and good, good time talking to you.